for some reason, you guys really seem to enjoy my hygiene shopping videos. And it is about that time again. Not even about that time. It is definitely that time again. So I'm pulling up at Target right now. We're about to go do some hygiene shopping and get a lot of my essentials. We are a little under two weeks away from Christmas and everyone's like getting all their shopping in right now. So hopefully it's not too bad to where like I don't even want to film because there's so many people, but we'll see once we get inside. It's already so crowded. <laughs> for myself of all the things I need to get so hopefully I don't forget anything. I'm usually a pretty big fan of this Colgate Max Fresh line. They have the cool mint, clean mint, charcoal, and a couple other ones that they don't have here. I'm pretty sure I've tried all of them and they're all super minty and I like them but I think I want to switch it up and go for one of these Colgate Total Care ones, the whole mouth clean. It says fights bacteria on teeth, tongue, cheeks, and gums. I don't know if I want to do clean mint or deep clean but I think I'm going to get clean mint just because I know I like minty toothpaste. I also need a new toothbrush head for my toothbrush, but I don't think that they sell them here, so I might have to buy it online. If anyone is looking for a recommendation, this Crest Clean Mint, or not the alcohol-free one, the alcohol-free one's kind of nasty, I'm not gonna lie. Well, if you can find this Crest Clean Mint mouthwash with alcohol, that's like one of the, one of my favorites. I'm pretty good on lotion right now, but I do need this. If you mix this with almost any lotion, it'll make it a lot more like moisturizing for you. For the past couple months, I've been using this Dove Irritation Care, but they don't have it, and I looked online, and they also don't have it at any other Target. And I don't think Walmart even carries it at all, so I'm probably gonna have to try a new body wash today, which reminds me, I've been wanting to try the CeraVe body wash, but I think I have to get that from Walmart too, so I might have to wait on the body wash. I was going to try this Soothing Care Calendula one, because it says hydrates and replenishes skin, but I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this scent. I think I like unscented body washes a little bit more, or at least something that's a little less florally, like more like a argan oil. However, this gentle exfoliating one is the one that Jeremy uses, so I'm gonna get that for him. I had a friend of mine tell me that she uses Nair on her down there area, and I kind of wanted to try, but all of these say that they're for legs and body, so I'm gonna have to pass on it for now. But if you have also used Nair down there, let me know what your experience was with it and if it's something you think I should try. I'm kind of tempted to try this birthday cake chapstick because it sounds like it tastes really good and these are my favorite kinds of chapsticks but I don't really like the ball form of them. I only like the stick and I don't want both so. I always hear good things about these Dr. Bronner's Castile soaps but I kind of don't want to go in and get like a big bottle yet because just because I don't know how my skin is going to be with it. So I think I'm going to get the baby unscented one in the bar form and then just use this with my towel and like lather it as my body wash. I also feel like bar soap sometimes can be kind of like stripping on the skin and make it feel a little more dry which is not what I'm going for right now but I'm gonna get it just in case I really like it. If you have any issues with dry lips or you're just looking for a good lip scrub this Burt's Bees one is really good. I just don't need one at the moment so I'm not gonna get one but 10 out of 10 recommend if you need a lip scrub. end up going to Walmart because they actually didn't have the CeraVe body wash like I thought they did. I saw it online but it was like sold by somebody else and I couldn't figure out where to get it so I just didn't get it. But anyways, now that I'm back at home I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul of everything that I got at Target. I got this Colgate Total Whole Mouth Clean Mint Toothpaste. I usually use the Max Fresh ones and there's also another one I've been using recently. I can't think of the name of it but it's pretty good too but I kind of just wanted to try a new toothpaste so I got this Colgate 
Total Mouth Clean Mint Bites Bacteria on Teeth, Tongue, Cheeks, and Gum. So I got this. Then I got this Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Oil. This is really good to like add to your lotion if you feel like it's not moisturizing enough. And that's what I've been doing to kind of keep my skin a little bit more moisturized during the winter time. I had been using this Dove Body Love Cream Oil Lotion. So it's like a mixture of a cream and an oil. But for some reason, I felt like it still could just be a little bit more hydrating. So when I combine the two of these, it works really well for like keeping me moisturized at least for like 24 hours. If not a full 24 hour moisturization, I'm like at least not ashy the next morning. Then I got this Dove Aloe and Eucalyptus Hand Soap. It's a foaming hand soap. I've never used it before, but I don't know. I honestly thought the packaging was kind of cute and it smelled good too. And we needed some new hand wash. So yeah, I got this one. I think it'll be pretty good. For my razors, I got these Bixolay Comfort Razors. These are just my go-to razors or kind of just the Bixolay in general are my go-to razors. These ones though have four blades. I honestly thought it had four razors, but it has four blades and three razors, but that's okay. These work really well, so these are a mess. I really was not digging my lighting situation, so I changed it, but <laughs> the next thing I got is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydro Gel Face Mask. I've used it maybe only like once or twice now, but I really like it. It's super cooling. It feels like moist, and it leaves my skin feeling really soft and super hydrated, so if you're having issues with dry skin on your face and you have sensitive skin, I recommend this one because it didn't give me any problems with like breakouts or itchy or anything like that so or stinging because some face masks like really make my skin burn or tingle but this one feels really good so try this one if you haven't next thing I got are these flushable wipes. we just started using them recently honestly just wipe with tissue and then wipe with a baby wipe after or like the little flushable wipes and it just feels a lot more clean I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory I wanted to get the regular water wipes because I feel like they're a little bit more hygienic and more sensitive for down there for girls but the water wipes are not flushable and I found like a lot of the flushable wipes are just like regular baby wipes they're just right like they're not sensitive or made for that area so these ones will do for now until someone comes out with a water wipe that is also flushable or if you guys know of some water wipes that are flushable let me know I've just never seen them before I also got this argon oil and aloe spray from herbal essences I've never used it before I've honestly never seen it before it just looks kind of cool I've honestly never even used anything from herbal essences but I'm really trying to take better care of my hair when it's in protective styles because I pretty much always have either braids or twists or something in my hair and when they are styled I kind of get lazy about taking care of my hair underneath them um, so I'm hoping that having this will be an easy way for me to just like you know get some moisturization it smells pretty good too I also got this shea butter and coconut oil shampoo from Suave this is from their like natural hairline I I don't know I feel like a lot of brands used to have like natural hair care lines or like the packaging is brown kind of stereotypical but I feel like I haven't been seeing them as much lately I don't know I just really like this shampoo it works well on my hair and I'm kind of running out of like shampoo and I really probably needed to get conditioner too but they just didn't really have a great selection for me at Target so I just got this shampoo I just got this Dove Gentle Exfoliating um, Body Wash is the one he uses and then this Dove Men's Care Clean Comfort Deodorant. I don't know, this is just what he uses, this is what I got. Lastly, I picked up this Dr. Bronner's Baby Castile Soap. Like I was saying in the store, I've never used it before but I've only heard really good things about it. I was also kind of concerned that getting the bar soap would actually like dehydrate my skin more and make it like kind of dry but I was doing some like research and I saw that Dr. Bronner's bar soap is actually more hydrating than their liquid version of it and I've also read that it's like sensitive enough to use on your lady parts so I'm actually kind of not glad that they didn't have the CeraVe body wash but I probably shouldn't be using two new body washes at the same time anyway so I'm just gonna use this one see how it works out for me but that is everything that I got today so if you guys have any other suggestions or recommendations for products that you consider your winter like essentials or must-haves for hygiene let me know down in the comments leave this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching this video I love you and I'll see you in my next one bye